Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to replace ink cartridges in the Epson XP322. Now this is nice and simple, coming down from the printer itself using nothing but the small control panel you can see here. So to get started we need to be on the home screen of the printer, which looks like this. If you're not already there, there's a home button you can press to be taken to the screen. Now we're going to use the right arrow to go along to setup. Once we're on setup, we press OK. Now I'm going to press right just once so that maintenance is on the screen. Press OK to go into maintenance. We're going to move along past nozzle check, past head cleaning, past head alignment to ink cartridge replacement, which is option four of four. Press OK. Now to get to the ink cartridges, the cradle needs to be moved along to the correct position. So you need to indicate to the printer that this is what you're doing rather than just opening the lid like you would do on some printers. So we press start, which is that button just there. Give your printer a second. And when that's shown on screen, replacing cartridges, you know you're good. So, so to replace the ink cartridges, we need to get into the inside of the printer, which we do by going below the scanner. There's a couple of grooves on either side. Just get a finger in there, lift it, and you should be presented with something that looks a little like this. Now the ink cartridge cradle, which is ordinarily tucked under there, preventing you getting to the cartridges, has gone along here where it's recessed slightly so you can get to the clips on the back of the cartridge. Now to remove the ink cartridges, just press down on the back, you hear a little click, you can pull them out nice and easy. Get your replacement cartridge, I'm using the same one because there's absolutely no need to change this. Lots of ink in there. And you'll want to remove any protective packaging that's on it before you install it. Ordinarily there'll be like a pull tab, you can pull off the back, be like orange or yellow, normally found towards the back here, which uncovers a little hole and lets it ink into the uh, cartridge, breaks the vacuum. Um, there'll be film on the bottom of the cartridge, you don't need to worry about pulling that off, that gets pierced automatically as it goes into the printer. So when you're confident everything's been removed, just pop them in and just press down gently until you hear a click letting you know it's in place, it's that flush with the other three cartridges. Now that's done, we can just lower the printer gently and then back at the screen. All we need to do is indicate to the printer that we're done on the inside, which we do by pressing the start button again. Your printer will now check the ink cartridges, make sure it's happy with everything that's installed, which it does by checking the uh, attached chips on the cartridges. If you're using compatible or remanufactured cartridges, You'll probably get a little warning saying non Epson cartridges installed, but it's just as simple as pressing OK to continue and assuming it's happy with everything that's in there. Back here and away you go. Now I hope you found this video useful. If you have, let me know with a like. If there's anything else we can help with, let us know down in the comments. Otherwise, thank you for taking the time to watch this and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.